It was February of 2022. I'd just won a slot jackpot at an online casino for $10,000, and then I proceeded to lose it all back in two hours. Within that two hours, I lost an average of $83 a minute. At this time, I was uh, just starting my job that paid $25 an hour, and I had managed to lose 400 hours of work salary in the blink of an eye. I had won big, and I'd lost big. But at the end of it all, I had absolutely nothing to show for it. My rock bottom was not being down thousands of dollars. My rock bottom was the feeling of depression after having given back thousands of dollars that I could have walked away with. I had a few choices in that situation. I could have found a way to borrow more money and chase and try to get back to what I had before. I could have fallen into a pit of depression and closed off from the world. However, I chose to get help instead. I started going to Gamblers Anonymous meetings that February and though it hasn't really been smooth sailing, my life has never been better than it is right now. People such as myself that have addictions will often find ourselves feeling defeated, or what I'm gonna call rock bottom throughout this video. A lot of people think that this term refers to a specific period of time that'll happen once to people, but I actually believe that it's a feeling that can be felt over and over and over again. It's a feeling of emptiness, of loneliness, that defines the lowest state of the human spirit. But, over the last year, I've developed the tools and understanding necessary to come to terms with why that rock bottom feeling is also one of the greatest gifts we can ever receive in our lives. My name is Rob and I'm a compulsive gambler. I make videos to help others with addictions to live healthier, happier lives through self-improvement and education about the reality of their addiction. If you want to live a productive and fulfilling life but don't quite know where to start, start by smashing that subscribe button and we'll take on this healing journey together as a community. So why is it that I think that being at rock bottom is a gift and not a curse? Well, there's a few reasons, but in this video, I'll touch on three of them. The first reason is that when you find yourself at either end of the spectrum of happiness and depression, it helps put everything else in your life into perspective. When you've been down at the point where you're fighting depression, battling debt, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, and more, that comes with gambling addiction, well, 10 minutes on a treadmill doesn't sound like the end of the world. You don't get the job you applied for? Okay. I'll just apply for another one. Your check engine light comes on. Well, okay, let's go check it. When you've dealt with things as bad as you have when in an active addiction, the inconveniences and negatives of a normal life just don't carry the same significance. And that's not to say that things can't happen in your life that are bad or you shouldn't feel frustrated with negative things in your life, but the perspective that you gain when you experience something extreme is so powerful because it leads to a sense of gratitude. You can be grateful for how far you've come out of that rock bottom, or if you're still in that rock bottom, you can be grateful for how good your life actually is compared to what you feel right now. Not every addict has something like a near-death experience. I've not had one personally, but I hear the same story over and over again. The person who almost died feels like they have a new lease on life, like they were given a second chance to live. Roughly 5% of Americans have reported having a near-death experience, and within that group, 76% of people report that a near-death experience caused them to become more spiritual people. They're also reported to be more positive people, as their perspective on life has changed significantly after seeing it almost end. When things are at their worst, it puts everything else into a different light. Now the second reason that hitting rock bottom is actually a gift is that to recover, you really have to step out of your comfort zone and pursue growth. If you're at that rock bottom, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a longer stay by sitting around and being depressed or sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. I believe that being at rock bottom gives you the perfect reason to step out of your comfort zone as what you've been doing to get up to that point can't be the best thing for you or you wouldn't have ended up there. If you would have told me at this point last year that I'd be sitting in front of a camera and speaking to hundreds of people online about gambling addiction and sharing my personal story, I'd have thought you were insane. I wanted nobody to know that I had an issue except my family and I only wanted them to know because they'd be able to lend me some money to get me out of trouble. I've never been a shy person, but I guess that I never showed my true self. I was always seeking to be funny, to distance myself from people in a way that I'd never be diving into deeper issues. Now, I spend all day writing down those issues and finding the best way to share everything about them with you. It's funny how life works. Now, I'm not recommending that you air out your problems online to strangers or shout from the rooftops that you have a gambling addiction. What I am saying is that the things you fear the most, or maybe the things that you would never consider doing, are probably the things that you should give some consideration to trying. Even if you're scared of being embarrassed by, say, dancing, you may not become a professional dancer, but facing your fears and putting yourself out there can lead to new friendships, to new opportunities, 
or even just something as simple as getting exercise you wouldn't have gotten before. If you're afraid that people won't like you and you were seeking to impress them by showing them how much money you won from gambling, something that I can relate to. Get out there and join a club in your school or in your community and you'll realize that money doesn't really come up in conversation very often. You can build friendships and relationships without it. Many of us are dealing with the same core issues in our lives. Those core issues are feeling like maybe we don't belong, we're not sure of what we want to be, not sure of what we want from life, and more. Some people just do a better job of hiding it. If you hit rock bottom, use it as a springboard for tackling those fears because you have to change something or nothing will be different in your life at the end of the day. The third reason is probably one that you didn't expect to be hearing, but being at your lowest point can inspire a sense of competition in you. A lot of gambling addicts probably can look back at their earliest bet and come to terms with the fact that it was some sort of competition. For me, it was betting money on the hockey games that I'd play out in the street with my little brother. For others, it could be gambling a dollar on who could throw a ball the furthest, or maybe even betting some money on a game of FIFA or some other video game on the Xbox. When we hit rock bottom, we have a new type of competition that we can take on. One that'll actually leave us better off each day. Competition can come either in the form of competing against the version of yourself from the day before, or competing against someone that you admire. It's sort of a corny saying that the only person you should want to be better than is yourself, but it's such a popular saying because it's really true. When you're at rock bottom, you're giving yourself a point in time to compare all your other experiences to, and know in the future that you're doing better compared to it. If a month from now you fail at a business venture, or you sleep in later than you had planned, you can go back and reflect on the time where you're filing for bankruptcy, or asking all your friends to borrow $100 to cover your bills. And you can remember that things they could be worse. Now, in regards to competing against someone that you admire, what I mean by this is to ask yourself the question of, well, they did it, so why can't I? Or why couldn't I? Take Steve Jobs, for example. He's someone that I admire. I actually listen to his Stanford commencement speech every morning before I get up. I admire him because he started from a very modest background and went on to create Apple, which is now the most valuable company in the entire world. We like to give ourselves excuses like, oh, I don't know how to do this, or, that's only for rich people, or that's only for so-and-so. And we end up in the exact same place when the sun goes down each day. The truth is that everyone started from a knowledge base of zero, and they had to learn everything that they know. Now sure, some people had an easier path than others, but there are no excuses if you truly want to succeed. When we hit rock bottom, we need to look at success stories like Steve Jobs and think, what's stopping me from coming out of this position and doing what they just did? The truth is, <laughs> there isn't anything stopping you. It is no easy feat to recover from the lowest point of your addiction and improve to live a happy life. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of time, and a huge shift in the way you see the world around you. And there's still some days where I feel negative or allow old thoughts to slip back in, but we're not our thoughts. Our thoughts change every single day based on our mood, based on our environment, our knowledge, how hungry we are, what time we went to bed, etc. If we base our stance on the current state of our thoughts, we'll be changing our minds hundreds of times each day. Remember, you are not your thoughts. You're not your past, and you're not even your future. You're only you. You only get the present moment once, so don't waste it, or you'll end up in the exact same place each day when you go to sleep. Aren't you tired of doing the same thing and expecting different results? I am. Let's keep getting better together, one day at a time. Thanks for watching.